Ian Kerner, he comes next, The Thinking Woman's Guide to Pleasuring a Man. Welcome to the summary of, He Comes Next, The Thinking Woman's Guide to Pleasuring a Man by Ian Kerner. This book dives into the complex landscape of men's sexual pleasure, unraveling the mysteries of their instincts, emotional connection, and desires. As you explore this summary, you'll encounter essential topics such as understanding a man's genitalia, the importance of communication and trust, the impact of relationship stages on sex, and ways to spice up a routine sex life with fantasies and new experiences. Furthermore, various hands-on techniques are highlighted, revealing how you can help your partner achieve a fulfilling and mind-blowing orgasm. Men's Sexual Anatomy Men's genitals are instinctively protected due to their sensitivity. The size and hardness of the penis is a significant psychological strain for many men, but the clitoris and other desires can provide immense sexual gratification. The male G-spot, located just two inches inside the anus, is full of sensitive and pleasurable nerve endings. The Truth About Male Sexual Anxieties Male sexual anxieties are perpetuated by the idea that sex revolves around the penis, which is showcased most distinctly in porn. Porn can feed into bad masturbation habits, hardwiring men for rapid ejaculation and future sexual failures. Additionally, Viagra and other pharmaceuticals prey upon male anxieties about the ideal firmness and duration of their erections, creating unrealistic expectations of sexual performance. This has led to a booming market for these medications, which ironically has only heightened the anxieties that lead to erectile dysfunction. The solution is to have a more holistic and thoughtful approach to sex, taking into consideration psychological factors and the relationship as a whole, while acknowledging that the current stage of a relationship can affect sexual experience. Ultimately, penises, like most things, don't respond well to pressure, so it's important to address sexual concerns with patience and understanding. How to keep desire alive in a long-term relationship Relationships follow a pattern of three stages, lust, romantic love, and attachment. While the first two stages are fueled by dopamine and norepinephrine, the third stage is characterized by comfort. However, routine sex during the attachment phase can lead to breakups, cheating, or a lack of fulfillment. The key to a satisfying sex life is keeping desire alive through spontaneity, excitement, novelty, and mystery. Research shows that couples who incorporate these elements into their sex life can reignite their early feelings of desire and satisfaction. The Benefits of Healthy Sexual Fantasy Many people repress their sexual desires because they feel ashamed of them, but studies show that engaging in healthy sexual fantasies is beneficial. This type of fantasy can help improve a person's sex life and stimulate the brain in a way that promotes deep relaxation, leading to better sex. Couples can use fantasy as a way to add excitement to their relationship and broaden their definition of foreplay beyond physical stimulation. By exploring and acting out each other's fantasies, partners can heighten desire and anticipation. Exhibitionism can also enhance the experience. Restoring Emotional Connection if you're in a relationship lacking emotional intimacy, restoring it is possible. Committing to daily rituals like embracing each other three times a day with genuine hugs is a great start. During sex, try to maintain eye contact and slow down the man's arousal to make the experience much more enjoyable. Non-genital stimulation like massages and kisses should be utilized to relax and calm the man, which, in turn, increases his chances of getting an erection during sex. Achieving a Global Orgasm Men can experience global orgasms by embracing a holistic approach to sex. This includes getting fully naked, tying up, blindfolding, and adding a full-body massage. When working towards genital stimulation, it's important to keep a slow pace and use a combination of hands, mouth, and vulva for the best results. Simultaneously stimulating the upper and lower body can also heighten sensory anticipation. Exploring Male Masturbation in Detail Understanding the Stages and Techniques of Male Masturbation Men's masturbation has been a much-debated topic for years, 
but how well do you really know what is happening when a man is pleasing himself? The arousal process comprises various stages, starting with filling and leading up to orgasmic inevitability, the point of no return. It is essential to understand these stages and the proper techniques to enhance a partner's pleasure during intercourse. During the initial stage of an erection, gentle stimulation of the entire genital area is preferred for optimal results. As the penis becomes more rigid, add deeper pressure and explore different positions while including focused attention on the sensitive areas such as the frenulum located under the glands. Long licks up the shaft and gentle use of teeth also provide excellent stimulation. The penis may also be used to stimulate the clitoris and enhance sexual excitement in both partners. To avoid the risk of premature ejaculation, give the glands a gentle squeeze after every pleasing technique to reduce the flow of blood to the sensitive tip. In case of overexcitement, take a break from genital stimulation, move to other parts of the body, and indulge in some kissing and caressing. In summary, understanding the stages of male masturbation and employing various techniques underlines the best way for partners to enhance their sexual desires and achieve an intense orgasm. Mind-blowing techniques for men's orgasms. Learn how to build sexual tension, control the rhythm, and master the art of giving amazing orgasms to your man. To give your man an unforgettable orgasm, you need to understand the key to building and expanding sexual tension throughout his body. The secret lies in keeping him in the plateau phase for as long as possible, where his mind and body are on the edge of total surrender. To achieve this, use your hands to increase the pace of rhythmic stroking while decreasing non-rhythmic stimulation. The grasp and clasp technique is perfect for this, alternating between long, firm strokes and short ones that focus on the frenulum. For an even higher level of pleasure, use your mouth to form a seal over the glands while maintaining a firm grip on the shaft. This allows you to bob your head, lick the frenulum, and take in as much of the penis as you're comfortable with. When it's time for intercourse, don't give up control. To give him the best orgasm possible, dictate the angles and gyrations. You can tell him, don't worry, you'll come, but not until I come first. When he's close to orgasm, Bring him back to the plateau again and again until you're both satisfied. Remember that he may not be able to tell you when he's about to reach the point of no return, so recognize the moment when his body reaches maximum tension and ease him away from the edge of ecstasy. When it's time for him to climax, continue the stimulation throughout the orgasm and keep your emotional connection strong until the end. With these techniques, you can master the art of giving amazing orgasms to your man. Throughout the summary of Ian Kerner's He Comes Next, we delved into critical aspects of understanding men's sexual pleasures and concerns. Emphasis was placed on recognizing the importance of physiological aspects, emotional connections, and communication in overcoming anxieties and fostering trust in a relationship. We also touched on the role of fantasies and imagination in maintaining a thriving sex life. Furthermore, we saw the benefits of incorporating emotional intimacy, massages, and arousal control in achieving a full-bodied sexual experience and explosive orgasms. By understanding these crucial takeaways and integrating them into your relationships, you can enhance your sex life and strengthen the bond between you and your partner.